Hey YouTube, um, Christopher Walker here again. I'm uh, just gonna do uh, a quick video showcasing some of my horror, um, well, not horror, just box sets in general, DVD box sets I own. Um, I will have to go grab them. You will be hearing lots of noise. Uh, let's start out with these three. Um, let's begin with the um, new, as you can see, it's the rehashed DVD of the Nightmare on Elm Street collection from New Line Cinema. I don't know if I see that really. oh, shit. I'm so sorry. Screw up there on my camera. But, um, didn't mean to do that. Um, this is the Nightmare on Elm Street 8 disc collection. It is the new, um, new box set. Much thinner. It's one of the main reasons why I got it. Shitty cover from a shitty remake. But, um, so what happens is it just kind of comes out like this. Boom. There it is. Backside. Back right there. Yeah, pop it on open. You got here. I don't know if you can see that very well. You got uh, all eight discs. There's the first one. Yeah, I can't get this. Uh, second one and third one. Uh, fourth and fifth one. Uh, sixth and seventh one. Seventh, New Nightmare. And, well, I guess you can't call it a bit of a bonus. Freddy vs. Jason. Uh, um, it's an alright set. It's, I guess it's good. I mean, there's the back of the case. I know my lighting sucks. Um, you know what I'll do? Uh, I don't know, you can't really see it, but, boom, there's a claw, Nightmare on Elm Street, 8 disc collection, um, great set, great stuff, uh, first movie, the first four are pretty good, um, first one's a classic, second one's okay, third one's, um, good movie, fourth one's a good movie, and a new nightmare. This is a good movie as well. Nightmare on Elm Street. Pick it up. Great set. Um, what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna run for a few minutes. I have to. A few minutes. A few seconds. I'm gonna go turn on my big light. There we go. Oh, big light. Okay. Um, gonna do the. This is the old Rocky trilogy. This is the old box set. Got this at Walmart for like 10 bucks. Great deal. Love that front cover. Perfect. Uh, side. Uh, DVDs come out. Got the original. Got the sequel. Third one. Boom. Back of the third one back of the second one and the back of the first one now as you guys probably already know these are all great movies I love the Rocky movies um this is before we went to this box set come out I gotta figure this out um shit wait a second I gotta figure this out it came out as soon as Rocky Balboa did 2006 so Yep, the sixth movie was being made when this came out. They must have heard about it and said, hey guys, let's put out a box set. But, um, no, I do not have the special edition of the first one. I don't, I'm not going to double dip. That's one of the main habits about me. I never double dip. Um, I don't care. Now, I might double dip on the collector edition of Halloween 3 if they have it at Target. But if not, fuck it. Um, Rocky Trilogy, great set. Great trilogy, bare bones. Still good stuff though. Pick it up. Uh, next up is a huge box set called 
I'm gonna hold this up. The World at War. Great photo. Now, this thing is gigantic. This thing is huge. Um, it literally lasts 22 hours and 37 minutes. That's nearly an entire straight day. Um, 11 discs, um, all in these little slip cases, as you can see. Each disc is like three hours long or something like that. Somewhere around there. Two hours to three hours. Um, you also get bonus features, which is really nice. Uh, you get documentaries, you get making them series, 30th anniversary, retrospective, uh, just some, uh, some really great stuff. It's narrated by Laurence Olivier, who also starred in a great war film called A Bridge Too Far. That's a great movie. Um, the World of War. Humongous set. There's the, I gotta hold this. There's the back. And this goes for about 50 bucks, 45 dollars on Amazon. Pick it up if you can. Just pick it up, man. Um, the documentary is made in 73. Great stuff. Great. Really, really good. You want to know all about World War II? You've got it right here. Um, yeah. Just a really, really great box set. Um, gotta go put these back. Uh, stay with me. Um, let's get up. Rush through this next one. I want to get it out of the way. And that's the Amityville Horror Collection. Everyone has this set. Just about everyone. Um, it's a horror fan, at least. First one is a special edition. Has commentary, documentaries. Really good stuff. Really great set. Um, love the front cover art. It's very fallish. Is one of the reasons why I got it. Um, Put back in here. Um, I personally think the third one is the weakest out of this set. Uh, this one, which this will be reviewed next year for Halloween. I'm definitely doing a full-on review for this. Um, great movie. My all-time favorite haunted house movie. Yes, I know, saying a lot, but um, it's a really atmospheric. It's directed by Do Damiano Damiani. Yeah, that's how you pronounce it. Damiano Damiani. But, uh, great stuff. Stars Burt Young from Rocky, actually. This is a movie. But, um, next up, let's set this back. Amityville 3D. This movie's okay. It kind of sucks on multiple levels, but it has its saving graces. Like Tony Roberts. He's pretty good in it. A very young Meg Ryan. But, um, yeah, special effects suck. But hey, man, it was 3D. It was the 80s. I can't blame them. But, um, yeah, sorry about the glare there. But, uh, Amityville 3D. It was also called, I think, Amityville 3 The Demon in some places. Which, uh, very good, actually. Next up, bonus disc, uh, Amityville Classified, um, Amityville Haunting, Horror Hoax, and the remake, which sucks ass, by the way. But, um, yeah. Looks very interesting. I've watched part of this. It's pretty good, actually. Um, that's what I mainly got this set for, was a special edition of the original, the second one, and really this bonus disc. But, yeah, um, great bonus disc. And I almost forgot, sorry for my fingers there. But, uh, this also came with movie money for the remake. <laughs> Funny. But, uh, yeah, uh, Great set, otherwise. Amityville Horror. For God's sakes, get out. That's all I gotta say. Um, next up, I'm gonna spend quite a bit of time on these. Ugh! And then, uh, Aaron Penn. Aaron Penn, um, I know you got the Bond 50, the big, um, Blu-ray. Big old Blu-ray set. Um, that's a cool set. Um, you have to ask me what's in it, because I got these, um these, um, little box sets, 
these are awesome. They go for like 30, 35 to 40 bucks. But that's the 007 um, Ultimate Edition. T 10 discs. Um, great stuff. Love the box set. Um, so I don't know what features are on here, but I mean, look. Alright, I'm going to pull on Goldfinger. It's the first one in here. Uh, slim case. Two discs. And all those features. Look at that, man. They're roughly the amount of the same amount of features for each disc. But, um, this is a great set. Comes with Goldfinger, Diamonds Are Forever, Man with a Golden Gun, Living Daylights, and The World's Not Enough. Diamonds Are Forever. I'm just going to show off a few of these. I'm going to show them all off. Uh, there's the two discs. I know, my hand's blocking it. Sorry about that. There we go. And the front cover. Boom, lots of features. Obviously, it came with booklets. I got this like six years ago, so I don't know what happened to the booklets. But, um, yeah, just to show off a showcase of these. Um, again, 10 discs, all Ultimate Editions. The most features you can have for if you're a Bond fan. And you don't have that, don't have them yet. Pick these up. The uh, second set, kind of like the first one, ten discs. It's like that blue coloring. But uh, yeah, great stuff. See you guys later. Um. But for now, uh, ciao. See you guys later. I'm going to make another video. I'm just showcasing my room. Bye.